السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على رسوله الكريم وعلى آله وأصحابه أجمعين ولا تهنوا ولا تحزنوا وأنتم الأعلون إن كنتم مؤمنين رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي My brothers, my sisters, respected elders It is an immense pleasure for all of us to be gathered here and I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at the outset to gather us in a better gathering in a better company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in the highest levels of Jannah. Qulu ameen. Mental well-being is a topic which is really important to be discussed and shared because as per the study, one out of five at least face the issue of mental well-being. It is important to discuss this to ensure that we live a life that is with peace, serenity, pleasure, happiness, and joy. Mental well-being is being treated by others in a very different way. But, but when it comes to the believer, when it comes to the Muslimin, by the rahmah of Allah, by the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have a different way to look at it. Mental well-being, my brothers and sisters, is dealt in a very beautiful, different way by a believer taught as prescribed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and described by our beloved Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. I would like to share with you in this limited time that we have five pointers in order to ensure our mental well-being. And when we say mental well-being, if we are not at peace mentally, it actually affects every aspect of our lives. So it is really important to know how to deal with it from an Islamic perspective. So the five pointers that I would like to de you know, share with you is number one, in order to be at peace, in order to have mental well-being, be a believer. Be a believer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi min shaytani rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim in Surah Al Ali Imran, Surah number three, ayah number one thirty-nine. Wala tahinu, wala tahzanu, wa antumul aalona in kuntum mu'minin. Don't be weakened. Don't be sad. You will be superior if you are believers. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala He says in Surah Al Asr. Surah number 103, ayah number 1 to 3. By the token of time, khusr. All of the mankind is in loss. And then Allah made an exception of four categories of people. Illa ladina, the first thing Allah discussed, amanu, those who believe. Now loss of what kind? Loss of wealth, loss of mental well-being, loss of, you know, anything. So, the idea is, in order for us to be in the state of well-being, be a believer. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, 
in the Quran that whoever does good actions, whether male or female, and have faith, Allah Rabbul Izzah, He promised good life to that person. The assurance comes from none but Allah Rabbul Izzah. The requirement is you do good actions and have faith, have belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you will be at rest. It's talking about the total well-being, including the mental well-being, the physical well-being, and the total well-being. So be a believer if you want to achieve mental well-being. But there is so many things, subhanAllah, that happens when you have iman, when you have faith, when you have belief in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You understand as a believer that not all things are in your control. So what do you do? You depend on Him. You submit to Him. You know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has first given the ability and then the test. Usually we get stressed from various things. Family stress, financial stress, professional stress. You know, different levels, different aspects. So what happens? You think that the, the, the problem that is coming to you, the challenge that you're facing, the obstacle that you have, the stress that you are facing is much bigger than you. That's not true. The believer, he has faith in Allah. And he knows that, the, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him the ability first and then the test. How do we know that? Allah Rabbul Izzah, he says, لا يكلف الله نفسا إلا وسعها Allah does not put a burden on you, that which you cannot bear. So you are mentally relaxed, you are programmed, that you know what? Allah gave you the ability to face the test first, and then the test comes. So you're mentally programmed that I am bigger than the problem. When you treat yourself bigger than the problem the problem becomes smaller and then you relieve yourself so the first point that I would like to share with you in order to have mental well-being be a believer that's number one number two be grateful and appreciative you know in this world of complaint competition and comparisons we actually get so much stress than ever before because of the social media, fantasies, you know, mobile phones, technology, uh, you know, things are so much open that we get stressed. Why? Because we are comparing ourselves with others. We are complaining because someone has it, I don't have it. We want to compete with someone whom Allah has bestowed for a reason. So what happens? You lose your mental peace. So Allah Rabbul Izzah, He says, whatever I have a plan for you, be happy about it. What happens when you are grateful? Allah Rabbul Izzah, He says, la in shakartum la azidannakum. If you are grateful to me, I will increase. Increase in what? Increase in everything. If you want if you are grateful, Ya Allah, you have given me peace. Walhamdulillah. You know, see this one word, Alhamdulillah, it can give you mental peace. Because you are praising Allah. You are thanking Allah. You are grateful for whatever condition that you have. You are thankful to Allah Rabbul Izzah. And subhanAllah, why shouldn't we be thankful to Allah when He has given so many blessings? So you have to be grateful and appreciative to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Rabbul Izzah says, فَذْكُرُونِي أَذْكُرْكُمْ وَاشْكُرُونِي وَلَا تَكْفُرُونِ Remember me and I will remember you. Be grateful to me and do not deny. So my brothers and sisters, the second pointer that you need to register and mark these words. If you want to be at well-being, be grateful. Start appreciating what you have. Acknowledge, Alhamdulillah, I have this. Alhamdulillah, Ya Rabb. Alhamdulillah, you have given me so much. 
and you will see miracle happening in your life because this is the wa'da this is the promise of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the third point that I would like to share with you my brothers and sisters is if you want to be a person of having well-being you got to be patient patience is something so beautiful that Allah Rabbul Izzah he says the prize of patience is paradise when Allah can give you paradise what is the great deal to have mental well-being in this world which is trivial temporary so have patience what happens when you have patience in Allah ma'asabirin Allah is with those who have patience so when you have Allah with you you have definitely total well-being with you you won't be depressed when you have Allah with you that's the greatest blessing that Allah is with you and how do you get Allah when you have patience when you gain patience you understand the plan of Allah Rabbul Izzah you trust Allah Rabbul Izzah so much so that you take everything positively positively you know Allah Rabbul Izzah he says in the Quran you might hate a thing but that's good for you and perhaps you might you know like a thing but that's not good for you Allah knows you don't know so you gain the element of trust being patient you gain the element of trust you know that something which is hateful to me but eventually this is good for me because Allah knows and perhaps I like very much something that's not being achieved by me I say alhamdulillah because Allah knows what to give when to give who to give how much to give so you are at peace you gain that momentum of mental well-being my brothers and sisters Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he gave us the beautiful formula to seek his help you know we all get stress for different reasons and different aspects of our life before sharing with anyone submit to the one Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala one act whenever you get stressed whenever you feel that it is a challenge that you cannot cope up with whenever you have an obstacle where you're baffled and you don't know what to do just do this Wallahi, my brothers one sajda one prostration to our Rabb can remove all your problems that is the believers attitude and dealing of well-being that one sajda where Allah is closest to you as the Prophet sallallahu said when he is with you closest you will never get stress you will never ever feel something that is not peace you will gain mental real well-being when you have patience my brothers and sisters so the idea of believer goes he is first of all he's a believer to gain mental well-being and he's grateful to gain that mental well-being and total well-being for that matter and he's patient and he gains that well-being the fourth point that I would like to you know, share with you is be beneficial to others be the one who helps others it is widely known even among those who are not yet Muslims that they feel when they help others they gain mental peace and that is within the essence of Islam the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam he says if you help your brother others Allah helps you if you elevate the problem of others Allah will alleviate the problems if you remove the difficulty from others life Allah Rabbul Izzah will remove the difficulty from your life and it's just not this life Allah will give you the better way the better results the better rewards in the hereafter as well so the idea of a Muslim mental will well-being is he is very much keen in looking for people to help keep helping people even with a smile 
to a distressed person can actually gain, you know, gain reward for you, can actually help you in this world and in the hereafter. The final point that I would like to share with you, my brothers and sisters, for well, mental well-being is be highly hopeful in the mercy of Allah. This is something which is so important for your mental well-being. You know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he says in Hadith al-Qudsi, Ana inda dhanni abdi bi. I am as my servant thinks of me. So if you think best about Allah, Allah will give you best. Your thinking begins with your mind. So when you have positive thoughts about Allah, Allah will give you positivity in your life. When you have good hopes, best expectations from Allah, Allah will give you like that. So never, ever lose hope in the mercy of Allah. You might have financial struggle or stress. You might have family stress. You might have work stress. You might have children stress. You might have any other stress. Just submit to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah Rabbul Izzah, he says, وَاسْتَعِينُوا بِالصَّبْرِ وَالصَّلَاةِ Seek the help of Allah through patience and prayer. So my brothers and sisters have high hopes in the mercy of Allah. Never ever think that the problem that you have is something that cannot be removed. And subhanAllah, when a believer looks at, at having high hopes in Allah, his perspective is very clear. He looks within himself the problems which are very much limited but when he looks at the good things that he has there are numerous so obviously the good things the beautiful blessings that he has they overweigh those which are small problems in this life so have good hopes in, in the mercy of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala my brothers and sisters in, occupy your mind with positivity about Allah Rabbul Izzah. So much so that you must not ask anything lesser than Jannatul Firdaus Al A'la. Have the company of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. You should have that high hopes. What are the problems of this world? Nothing. What are the challenges of this world? Temporary. Allah can give you Jannatul Firdaus. What is the big deal for Allah to remove your stress in this world which is temporary? So my brothers and sisters, be a believer. Be grateful and appreciative. Be patient. Be the one who is always there to help each other. Be the one who have high hopes in the mercy of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. By this way, inshallah, we hope and we pray Allah Rabbul Izzah will grant us well-being, uh, which is mental well-being, the physical well-being, and the total well-being. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to remove the problems, the difficulties, the challenges that each one of you are going through. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ease and peace in our lives. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us to gain peace of the hereafter. The company of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the opportunity to witness the face of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa akhiru da'wana anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.